Oh, I forgot to push the button. Boop. Hey, what's up? Um, lots of news today. Again, it's like there's new news in ham radio every single flipping day. Hello, welcome to the Learn CW within Zero SSC live stream where we learn CW online using LearnCWOnline.net. All right, Let me pull my notes. Um, so. So, give notes, okay. So, first order of business today, I found $10 on the floor, which is the first time I ever, ever done that. That's kind of cool. So now I'm a very rich man. I don't know what to do with my $10, but uh, I found it on the floor and I didn't know what to do with it at work um, because there's no one to give it to and I'm just gonna stand around and be like, anybody like drop a dollar, like $10? Um, I feel like I should probably give it to an OA or something. Our, our secretaries but they uh how are they going to find the person who lost ten dollars maybe maybe a person will come up anybody can go and be like oh thanks for finding my ten dollars and then the actual person comes in and says where's my ten dollars it's like somebody just took it who was it so i don't know moral dilemma uh and also at work i'm changing jobs again so that'll be fun not not actually changing like job jobs i'm still working at the same place they're so just different roles I've been kind of running around over the place, so doing different things. So that'll be interesting. If it gets like heavy, I might not be able to learn CW anymore because of all this overtime that feels that it seems to always loom over the horizon. But I don't know. Um, wow, this is like a life blog or something. Also, I am not going to be running for the AWRL CEO or any of the board of director positions. I'm not running for the CEO for obvious reasons. I am not a CEO, but for the board of directors, I actually entertained the notion. Um, and, and a lot of people were like in support of that, like a young person who's into youth, who, who you know, I'm a passionate and consummate ham. And, you know, I, I just want to do stuff for the good of the hobby. So it would be a good fit, but there's two reasons why I don't want to do it. One reason is because I don't think I'll actually get anything done. It might be a good optical thing. like. Yay, he's written for us. There's a guy in there who's not only transparent, but also is there for the future of the hobby. Um, but B, I actually can't because I'm not eligible. In March of 2019, so last year, my membership lapsed for a total of two months. And I had forgotten about my, basically, I've entirely forgotten about my AWRL membership in total. Um, the, because uh, I got married, I got, um, I moved house, changed my last name, because I took my wife's name, yada, 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 I know it's crazy, but it, it was fun, and I like this name better, Sterling Man, and uh, I forgot, I had a list of like hundreds of things to change, like passport, driver's license, social security, you name it, like Southwest Airlines, Delta Airlines, Hyatt, like uh, all this stuff at work, and the AWRL membership was like at the very bottom of the list, if it even was on the list, because it obviously kind of fell through. So they were sending me all these, all my QSTs to my old address, and it turns out USPS wasn't even forwarding my stuff to my house, uh, my new, you know, house. Um, so that was annoying. And then um, uh, they were just like mailing them there, and I found a, you know, basically a pile of magazines and, and mail that I've, you know, been missing forever. And, uh, 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 and so they were trying to sell me, or sell me, they were trying to send me all my membership renewal, like reminders. They were also emailing my old email address, which I kind of turned off. I thought everything was forwarding correctly, but it wasn't. So for in, in March 31st, 2019, my membership lapsed. And then I got it back because somebody emailed me like or messaged me saying hey look at this qst article it was interesting i forget what it was exactly i can go look it up maybe uh and then i tried to log into the AWR website and i couldn't i was like what's going on and i dug around and since you're not a member i'm like what there's no way and then lo and behold i go to my old email and i find all these renewal things all your memberships you know ended renewed looked at the qst and everything was fine didn't really think about it but fast forward to now the rules are you have to be a member of the AWR for four consecutive years prior to your nomination of a board of director, in which I am not because I had a two-month span of where I wasn't a member, 
um, in that amount of time. So um, we'll see. We'll we'll check back in with that in uh, the year 2023 when I'm a four-year full-up member. As long as I don't forget, because I'm not spending a thousand dollars for a twelve hundred dollars for a. Uh, life membership because I am paying way too much in student loans and also they get more money out of me if I'm if I'm not a life member like they get probably twice or three times as much money if I'm a full if I'm a lifetime AWR member and I pay $50 a month versus paying one thousand two hundred twenty five dollars a month for one time it's like a it's a bad financial decision um so there's that news so quit bothering me about it <laughs> Um, but I am representing Yoda at Hamcation, Hamvention, and now, very likely, we're kind of thinking, my wife and I are thinking about it, because October is the best time to visit Tokyo, um, and the Tokyo Ham Fair is October 31st, and I think I showed this, I, I just, you know, randomly was like, oh, this is, this looks cool, October 31st through November 1st. It's get together, youngsters. Is the is the uh, blah, 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 the proposal, the purpose, the theme? It's it's establishing friendship between amateurs, and I should probably switch to the camera that's actually showing this. Um, so that seems really cool. I think I might do that and and spend a week in in Tokyo and Kyoto. If not, um, if I don't go to this, we're going to Japan for the holidays during over the winter break. So, but it's a great time to go to Japan in, in this time of time of the year. Um, it would be very cool. This would make it my my second international ham radio convention. And this is like one of the biggest ones. It might be, yeah, it's the biggest, 42,000, because hamvention is only like 25,000 and um, 28,000. And then Friedrichshafen in Germany is 20,000-ish or so, maybe 18 participants. So that'll be exciting. <laughs> I'm, I'm pumped for that and all thanks to my wife for finding some cheap American Airlines flights and all thanks to my company for uh, starting a new paid time off program that I can uh, that we, so we get a lot of vacation if we don't get sick which I still I, I'm, I'm still under 30 so all right so that's that news and the next news is I came to a realization that Somebody in our chat by the name of Temporary Offline is in fact the Yoda donor who donated $4,000 and created this matching program so that every dollar that you donate to uh, uh, Yoda is matched by Steve's donation. And he is in our chat. And I just it just blew my mind. He sent me an email saying, like, thanks for doing this stream. Really helpful. Here's some tips. Shared some ideas and stuff. And it was just like, he, he signed off and I knew his call sign and his name. And I just like, what? So that's very awesome. He also just, it seems to be everywhere. Yeah, here, see, he's here. He's here. Um, he also seems to be everywhere. Like uh, he's on BitChute, he does videos. Um, he doesn't have them on YouTube for reasons, but like here you can see all his videos putting together the uh, QRP guys. Uh, DSP transceiver. He does some computer stuff, Arduino stuff. It's all really cool stuff. Really well-made videos. Definitely go take a look. Um, once YouTube fixes their polit political issue, maybe they'll come back on YouTube. But for now, they're they're right here. And arguably, YouTube needs a competitor anyway. So, um, and then so we're talking about different ways of learning Morse code, and he has some really good ideas like uh, that I'm going to take into consideration on this stream like less gibberish words like you know I'm learning these these letters but it's just gibberish it's not real words and then um, learning actual QSOs and and actually getting on the air so I'm gonna try to do all of that not in the stream but kind of working that into my <laughs> excuse me lesson plan <laughs> my 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 learning of Morse code and I found out I actually was emailing him and I typed like I wish that LCWO could have a thing where you could learn words but only using characters from a lesson that you the lesson that you're at so 24 well turns out that's exactly what they have so if I pick 24 and I click start it starts sending words at the speed that I set I don't know what I'm doing oh god that's too fast but what that was was a word that uh um, 
that only has the characters up to less than 24. He also has a program. He has a GitHub. Let me see. I'm showing it right here temporarily offline. Howdy. And um, it's a, a Python tool to basically send words and um, do all do all that stuff. What is it again? Python program to translate text to Morse code audio. Mm. So it's a good program to use if you're um, Python inclined. Actually, there's not really much anything to do. You don't have to know Python to use this, but it can be can be uh, modified because it's on GitHub and open source and all that, which is always great. I might give that a shot at some po at some point, but I haven't played with it today because I've been so busy with the news. <laughs> the news. This is almost like a a blog. Um, pretty much is a blog, a vlog about like, hey, what was going on in your life today? Um, and then, you know, we learn Morse code. So go check them out. Again, huge thanks to Steve Temporarily Offline for that. And um, if you are interested in having your, not YouTube dingus, uh, in your, if your, don your donation matched by him, uh, go to yodaregion2.org slash donate. And damn, we're getting up there. Click on the GoFundMe. I want to see how many uh, GoFundMe, GoFundMe, because I think we our our efforts are working. Winterfest booth visitors. Yeah, we made twenty dollars yesterday, but yeah, we're we're getting some, getting a small amount of uh, of pickup lately. I know we were on Ham Nation, so that really helped. Um, well, all these are offline because people don't use GoFundMe. They use checks and they use PayPal because ham's going to ham. But nice. Very nice. We still got, you know, whatever 5000 minus minus eighteen hundred sixteen dollars is to go for to add 30 camp uh, uh, campers from 20. But right now, as we are, we can actually run the camp with 20, uh, 20 campers. We want to get to 30 because that actually, like, meets our, our goals. But 20 will will be fine if we don't make $5,000. Um, but uh, I'll be going to Hamvention or Hamcation this next weekend, week, weekend after next, to uh, um, rep for Yoda, get some, do some fundraising. Um, I'm going to talk in the uh, youth forum with Carol Perry at 10 o'clock, I think, on Saturday. And um, also going to be uh, doing a little spiel at some point during the day while they're giving out awards and stuff. So that's it. All right. Uh, what are we going to do? So we did never get past the slash because I was tired again. And what is the, uh, where's the statistics? Yeah, didn't do so hot. Um, nice. See you at Hamcation. I guess you're Saito from uh, Discord. Where did my Discord go? Oh, I tried to update it. And when I update Discord, it just closes and doesn't come back. Jerk. Um, but yeah, so let's try to not fail. And then after we pass this, let's try to do some words. All right, let's do that. That was not Z. I did not pass that. It wasn't terrible, but. <laughs> Screw it, I'm gonna do words now. 
<laughs> All right, 20 by 5, characters from less than 24, tone of 600. And then you can do uh, CW abbreviations, Q codes, English. You need a bunch of languages too. So English, hold on, shift, and multiple entries. So I can do this. No, I don't want Dutch or uh, German. Boom. You can do that. A maximum length of 15. And what it does is, so copy simple words, common words, specify the language, check the box for simplifying the words, converts to non-standard, so I didn't need to worry about that. So a run of 25 words starts. After each correctly copied word, the speed increases, otherwise it decreases. So which speed decreases or increases? Uh, we'll find out. Let's give it a shot. This is not fair. <laughs> I said 20 by 5. Period to repeat. Keep going. Got, got to do it one at a time. Did uh did uh what? Fortran <laughs> It's Fortran. <laughs> I was just talking about Fortran a while ago. Um, da da m a uh, uh, n. Whoa, come on! Shut up. Oh, this is not. This is not cool. Minimum character speed. Speed. Minimum character speed. Okay, maybe it's like. What it? What it? That's it. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm not ready. Is this the right way to do it? Oh, wait. What's going on? Ah. Uh, no. All right. Get rid of CW abbreviations. So I just want to do English. I just guessed because I was like listening ahead. Do over. We're doing it. I didn't even know there was an eye in there. So this is what this is what Steve was kind of getting at. If you you do words, you're gonna be able to fill in some blanks, just like I did there. I didn't even like catch the eye. I I heard it, but like didn't really process it if you will and um but i heard l and then the only word that has apr blank l is april so but 
I don't know, is this like the right way to do it? I feel like I'm out of my element, but that might be a good thing. Start that bad boy over. Is there a way to like shorten the pre? Hmm. I don't think so. Ah, T. Hermit? No, permit. Da 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 is a G, but that is none of this is correct. R E J O R T R R E J O R T uh, What word is this? Why is it so slow? Come on. J O R T I Rejorting? What the? <laughs> Why did nobody tell me there was a P, not a J? True, you don't find, uh, Temporal Offline is saying, you don't find large words like that. Like, instead of somebody saying sim simultaneous, <laughs> it's going to be, like, same time as. Like, it will it'll be shorter words, I think. Um, on the test, you used to go back over the copy and fill in what I couldn't scribble down at the time. Is that just because you were, like, you had, like, the what was heard in your mind, but you couldn't write fast enough? Um or because um, I, I see a lot I've heard of a lot of stories about people who learn to write CW um, like write it down as they're as they're listening and they get to a certain speed where their writing speed is so slow compared to like their their receiving speed and I mean that's that that can slow you down um, this testing interface is immediately activated by fight or flight response LMAO. I wish I knew who some of you guys were like like temporary offline. Oh, you're Steve. Oh, you're this guy. Oh, KB and I see. Because like I met so many people, but then I see their names or I see their call signs or I see their like internet thing, uh, internet usernames, and I'm like, who are you again? <laughs> and that always feels like I feel like a bad person because I'm bad at remembering. My memory is poor. Just like my memory with J and P is also poor. So, yeah, that is, that is that. Now, code groups, I'm going to go through some of the other things in here. Code groups uh, is like you're done with lessons and then you go into speed practice. So it's the same thing. It's just faster. Um, and it has all the letters. You can also do figures, okay, numbers, mix them, and then, you know, custom characters. So it's just like lessons, but... A little more customizable. Plain text is very similar to temporary offline's uh, Python thing. You put in, um, but you only get to pick from proverbs, fortunes, Sprechwort, Schlutrchring. Yeah, not even going to try that again. Um, but you can also do, I thought you could do like a convert text to CW. So you can put in any text in here and then start sending it mp3 practice files you can make that transmit training i wanted to do some of this someday you'll stop lurk on and off lurking on this server yep thanks for the um, words of kindness there are a lot of people man and i'm not gonna lie ham radio is a tiny world it's a very very small world um and i see the same people in more places than one point in case Temporarily offline. Um, okay. Wait. No, I want to use a button, not my... Um, hold up. <laughs> Is 
there a better way? I can't use like a key on my keyboard. Morse chat function. Let's go to the forum and ask uh, Fabian to put in a, a key. Like, I want to use the space bar. I'm sure it's already been asked. Left button, mouse key, blah, blah, blah. The sound is kind of an annoying. You have to go pretty slow. But remember a couple episodes I've had, um, I talked about key clicks and, and rise times and, and, and fall times where you can tell that like, this is a has a gentle rise time, but it, if you do it faster, you start to hear the clicks. And yeah, CWcom um, also has that in it. I have to click this button up here, and it it's it's on iambic mode right now. So. So I'm using, if you look in the camera, left is um, dits, right is DAWs, if I hold it down. And don't judge me for my, my mouse ball. I just like it. So I, if I want to do like the letter S, no, I mean the letter H. Use the stripes. Use the stripes up and down. Stripes up where? What? Stripes up and down. Stripes. Stripes. Stri stripes. No. I don't know what you mean by stripes up and down. I can do V very good. So if I want to do on the box, there's a there's a there's a number of boxes. <laughs> I don't know what the stripes are. Seven over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, um, so for like a com port or a input from the keyboard or mouse keyboard down arrow key Oop, I no wrong ah the so this is straight key mode but now I hear the key clicks it's I think it's doing key clicks because it can't exactly detect when I'm going to release at the key, and so it doesn't have the the logic is like kind of uh, not well done, or it's it's done as good as it can do. Let me put it that way, as good as they can do it. But if you're using an iambic, you go back to mouse and iambic. Um, it knows exactly the timing based on the speed you put in, which the speed you put in the speed you put in so like 14 so we can do the timing well but like and yeah you can build a cable and i'm going to do this soon uh and plug it into the computer i need to get my um obviously my serial thing but that's the cool thing about this because i was playing around with it i'm very burpy very sorry <laughs> If you use Comport, you can plug it in, uh, plug in a paddle, and use iambic. But it's very nice. You have the option to use keyboard and mouse. So if I use mouse on manual, place the cursor. One thing I did like about over here is it had it had the ratio, which you always want the ratio of three to one, which is just going to show three three here, and. Um, but the but the sound is a bit disturbing. Not gonna lie. What I'm gonna think what I think I might do is get a radio or a or a transmit oscillator um, of some sort. Plug it in a key a code practice oscillator. Plug it in to the mic or the mixer or something, and and then be able to send and not have to worry about those key clicks because I'm I'm being pedantic. Third box over to see if anybody's online. Oh, yes. But I don't want to talk to anybody because they're gonna start sending me Morse code, and I'm gonna go like, well, bye. I just want to, <laughs> I just want to learn my letters at a very slow rate of speed. Um, but as I mentioned, soon we will do skits. Go away, notifications. Okay, so awesome. Sorry I didn't say hi, good game, ham radio bees and outdoors. 
I forgot your uh, your real name, but uh, your key will click too. So in my um, in my I have an IC seventy three hundred, and that's what I thought about bringing up here and and um, uh, uh, plug it into the mic and just having a dummy load or just having the key put, key output because it makes really nice sounding because um, it's a thousand dollar radio. Of course, it makes a nice sound. Uh, it's just that these uh, PC based uh, straight key systems are are lacking in perfect audio. Try not to like be you know, aggressively, I don't know, complaining, <laughs> but I don't know. I, it's almost distracting because like I'm used to that good sound and then and if I'm doing, and I don't want to do straight key. So maybe, maybe my qualms, my, my issues are, are not a problem. Steve. All right. You're Steve number two in the chat. It's temporarily offline is Steve number one. <laughs> But I might call you uh, go call you good name, good name, good game. But you are Steve Good Game. That's pretty cool. Thanks for coming, and uh, also thanks for hanging out with us on the yesterday's chat, which will get out of Jason's queue at any point. All right, how long have I been talking? I've literally had a stream for 34 minutes, and I haven't done any CW operate more learning. So. Um, if any of you have been uh, waiting for that, then I, I desperately apologize. But also, take a look at this new flag I have in the background. Yoda! I borrowed it from Neil so I can take it down to Orlando and wear it as a cape or something. <laughs> okay. I'm done blabbering. Good. Not good enough. Actually, that was really bad. <laughs> uh, need to get on busy on CW2. Now's the time. Still going on 14 day streak, I guess, with one day of not, well, two days of not doing it. So I officially don't have a streak going, but I'm just enjoying learning and, and having progression, having progress. Um, and even if there's no progress, like like we've seen in yesterday and but right now, it's still I'm still meeting that goal. I'm also getting to hang out on the internet with y'all and um, learning CW because Dad Gummit, I'm going to play in the AWRL CW contest whether whether I like it or not. It works for Windows XP and lower. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm I'm glad it works for Windows XP and lower, but. I don't think anybody should have a Windows XP or lower machine. That is a safety risk, unless it is not on the internet. Um, but more power to you. Um, I like things that work on Windows 10 or on the internet. Did I audit? Da, 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 da.
Dang it. It's two and a half percent off. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. I don't mean to throw shade on, on Windows XP, but... If it works on Windows 10, that's super. Let me look it up. Worst Tudor Gold. The Ham Radio Wanderings of Whiskey Zero Julia Delta. Nice website. Where is it? Oh, morsuitor.com. Morsuitor Gold. Morsuitor Training. Morsuitor Gold. Morsuitor Gold. Oh, I hate DX Zone. It's a stupid website. All right. <laughs> Lorem Ipsum Dolor Sit Amet. Crassen Vestibulum. <laughs> uh, well, this is. This doesn't look very good. Um. None of, none of this looks very good at all. I what am I even looking at? DXone, Morse Tooth Cold, GGTE.com. No, that is not it. The problem with this old uh, this Morse code tutor, the old software is where do you find it from? Like you type it in and look what I find. I find like nothing. Um to be a BH Morse tutor, Morse code, Windows 10 is many making their Morse codes. Yes, uh, it, it would give me letters and words and QSOs, but but it, does it exist anymore? Like, are you able to get it on the internet? Oh, GGTE. Oh, there's a there's a hint. We're on the hunt. Whiskey, whiskey one, whiskey one, whiskey Charlie. Morse tutor gold from GGT. Yeah, no, this is. This web, as you can readily see, this website is in the very early stages of development, but you can contact. How long has this been in development? I'm not. Morse code training software. So I have to contact sales at GGT for any further questions in the meanwhile. I presume that means I have to pay for it. And I could just use this, which is free. Thanks to Fabian. Which, by the way, I looked up Fabian, and he's a young ham. He's extremely talented, and he's in he's DJ one YFK. And if you know what YFK is, um, you'll know that from YFK log, YFK test, which are Linux loggers and uh, Linux log test log contest log. And of course, he's made Learn CW online, um, which for for me has been been great so far, learning the characters. So. <laughs> 99 attempts. Oh, let's get to 100. Woo. Wow. I didn't know we were going to reach such a milestone today. I'm excited. That's it. 100 attempts, and now we're on to lesson 25. Q. The letter Q. The letter Q is extremely common because it's in the word CQ, which is arguably the most well known. Da 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 da. In fact, let's pull up CWCOM and actually type it out. That did not work. But it's also a really hard word, a letter, because it's just hard. Like, it's, it's similar to Y in terms of complexity. 
Hmm. I'm used to it at being able to I wonder if that'll work better with the panel and not a mouse because I'm used to like oh this maybe just needs a little more training I need to need to brush up on it um but yeah Q Q Did I get those cues right? That's all I really care about. I got two, the the only two cues, so I did not confuse them. I did hear the Y, and I got the Y right, so that's awesome as well. Um, I was afraid to confuse it with Q. again pause scratch it all take a breath take a drink switching to water sparkling water crack open a cold one of water and and don't you worry I have I have backups for when the things everything goes wrong <laughs> this stuff is good though like I'm addicted to sparkling water, the bubbly and, and other flavored ones. It's better for your teeth than soda. I'm gonna go fix my thing. For a quick twist, drop your character speed to 18 and try that, go back to 20. Try it. Shouldn't I go faster and then go back to 20? Or, yeah, I don't know. I will, uh, uh what's the word? I'll try it out because I thought you if you crank this and you like really struggle to like understand it and then you go back slower you're it's gonna be like super uh, easy or it's gonna be easier to copy but I'll try the 18 We did 18, still missed a few. 
going back to 20. But then you submit back. Did you? Submit. Give this a shot. it is F, you dingus. So were you hiding the this uh, trick from me this whole time? <laughs> that was a pass. Change do word at 18. Extra word. Do word at 18. Do word. What does that mean? Do word. Uh, character speed, effect of speed, or extra word spacing. All right. Pass the Q. 26 brings us the letter 9. This shouldn't be too hard. I feel if I add two two or three more numbers, I'll, I'll get to the point where it's like, it won't be too hard. Also, am, is this all the, I need the letter, what, what letters am I missing? A, B, C, H, D, uh, E, F, H. Not many. <laughs> I I told to my I told myself I told uh, temporary offline that once I get all the letters I'll start doing the words like more repeat repeat repetitively and then work in the numbers but I think it's gonna make me do let me skip ahead to forty to God dang it Let's see how many letters so it goes all the way to the end until you learn the letter X so. But we're here, y'all. We're right there. We only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 to go. We come so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. I'm getting a copyright strike. Because in the end, it doesn't even matter. What the heck, um, I need to go to 26. Yes, all right. Just keep it close and work back and forth to listen to the difference in sound. Okay. That was bad. Maybe that's my worst. 35.7. Okay. Well, gee whiz. It's been like an hour almost. 
I think I'm done. Call her quits. I'm getting out of here. I have a beer and go home. Um. So. Seventy-three. Thanks for watching again. Let me reiterate some of the news. Go donate to Youth on the Air, Yota, um, in the Americas camp at Youth on the Air region. Uh, youth on the Air dot. What is Yota Region Two dot org slash donate. Thank you to Temporarily Offline for his incredible generosity for and for coming up with this brilliant idea uh, of the matching program. So every dollar you donate gets matched by Steve's dollar up to $4,000, and that's only going through the month of February. In February, we are going to start our uh, applications. Um, and you can see me at Hamvention, or Hamcation, this next coming weekend, February 9th, Hamvention, and at Hamcation, I don't have a booth, but I'll be running around, you'll be able to see me in my blue polo, and um, maybe I'll be wearing that as a, as a cape or something. <laughs> I'll have, probably have a donation box and, and jingling change. Donations for the young hams. Um, and uh, I'm also going to Hamvention in May. <laughs> I'm going to probably be going to Ham Fair in Tokyo coming October. Like, it's like this is my job, but it isn't my job. I get, I'm an engineer and I have a very supportive wife who knows how to work the uh, credit card rewards system. Um, so I wish I can make this my job, but I'm thankful and I'm uh, blessed to have the ability to kind of hop around and, and promote ham radio to youth and promote youth to ham radio uh, and all that stuff. So uh, was there any other news I'm forgetting? Um, also, yeah, I'm not running for the CEO or the board of directors until 2023 because I wasn't a member for two months by accident. And um, yeah, that's about it besides all the life things going on. 73, and thanks for watching. See you tomorrow at 7 uh, again, um, right here on YouTube and Twitch. <sighs> Bye.